All right, so this video is focused on the Aussie butt, <laughs> the butt curtains and the tail. So this is Ember again, and he is in need of a trim. Um, so his, he's kind of wild. So I would, I like to do baths and blow dry before and then give them some time for the hair to lay natural. Otherwise you're going to trim and then you realize that isn't what they look like at all. So for the tail, I'll use my eight inch curved scissors. And you want the classic butt smile of an Aussie. So I'll just go in. <laughs> All that hair is going to go to you. Yeah. And I'll just angle in toward his hip, giving him a, a little curve. And then go in front of the camera, and then go the opposite direction. Try to angle the scissors so that they're like this instead of like this, or you're going to get an awkward angle. You have longer hairs in the, by the anus, and you want to have it flat across. He kind of has a little duck tail going on. So you work with what you got. If he needs trimmed a different way because that's how his hair grows and that's what you do. So this is Clove. She is in need of a butt trim. So again I'm going to take my curved my curved scissors and I'm going to she's a she has a lot more hair she's older she's had time to build up her coat so I'm just gonna find her tail there it is and I'm gonna lift up so I can see what's going on under, underneath and then go ahead and start defining that tail area you don't want to cut above the anus. It's, it's not a pretty look. So, little snips, little snips. Get on this side. It's easier when I'm looking on, but I'll get in there for way at the camera. It's okay. We've got a neighbor re roofing. Got the other dogs wanting to play. So this is a real life <laughs> groom. Hopefully you can see it when I'm in the shadow. All right, so we have, I'm gonna take a little thinning shear as well. Just to break that up. It's a little fine, but. She already has a pretty good, once you have a poop shoot defined, it's just trimming after that. So just trimming from the anus down. Trim up underneath. So her butt curtains are a little bit more defined. What I'll do is I'll stick them straight out. I'm gonna turn her a little bit. There we go. You're a good girl. Yes. And they're kind of long and strangly. Again, I'll, I'll take my thinning shears and just give them a little shape. So you want them to, to kind of fan out. Trim a little circle so that it 
it fades away right before it gets to the hawk. So we've got some wind going, but you get on this side. The wind's blowing right just thin. Thin it out, shape it up. Thin it out, shape it up. The, the actual look of it isn't as important with the pet, but it's more about length and shape than um, being perfect. You just want that look. There she goes. There's her little awesome butt.